All right, so this is one of my courses. This is actually my summer course that I'm teaching right now. And I have a page about me that I share so they can get to know me. And I start with a little paragraph about me and it's pretty much just my background and experience. Um, but then I made a little video here and I use different programs. This one's Animoto and it's free. It does put a watermark on it, but I don't think it's that big a deal. It's just kind of like a slideshow. So I'll share that with you guys real quick. So that's that video. Um, so that one is just kind of to try to humanize me and, and make them feel like, oh, I'm a person, not just this blank teacher that they don't know. Um, and then I'm going to share, this is another video. This is one I made um, last semester, actually, for a class that I was teaching in person that had to transition to online. And this was me basically explaining how I was setting up the course so that they could understand where to drop off files and where to pick up instructions and things like that. Um, I'm sure you've seen similar ones. Katie, I think you even have a similar one in the buddies uh, thing. So I'll just show just a snippet of it. But Hi, everybody. Welcome to our online Adobe Photoshop class. I'm going to quickly go over the Canvas site so you get a feel for how it goes and how the modules are gonna be set up and how our class is gonna work from here until who knows. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen with you. There we go. Let me just adjust this really quickly. There, okay, so now, um, Sorry, I'm still trying to figure this out. If you go into our course site on Canvas, you should go down here to where it says modules and click on that. And then there will be a module for each week. So the way I'm gonna format this class is I'm going to upload a new module every week and whatever's in that module is what I'm asking you to do for that week. So you'll. So you guys kind of get the idea. You don't need to watch the whole thing. <laughs> but um, that one was made with Screencast-O-Matic. And again, I just used the free version. It put a teeny watermark down here, but I don't think it was that bad. And um, the thing I like about Screencast-O-Matic is you can choose between doing like a webcam view of yourself or your screen, or you can do both as this video shows. And I actually wanted to share this video in particular with you guys because I did make mistakes in it. Like I got a little lost and I stumbled with the screen share and stuff mainly because I just wanted to share that like you don't have to be perfect and like even the students are really understanding and even if you make mistakes like you're just like oops we're all human we're all learning and they you know they really appreciate it um, so I just have one more just to show you a little snippet and this one um, I think I did this just using my phone actually and then uploaded to YouTube and I couldn't remember where I had posted it in the course. So I just went to my YouTube channel to find it for you guys. But this was a video I did um, probably about halfway through the online transition um, because I just wanted to remind my students that like we're all here and kind of check in with them and see how they're doing because it was a really rough semester and I know a lot of them were struggling. And um, I had a lot of great feedback with this. I made it on a discussion board and students were responding and you know they really kind of opened up about what they were going through and I, I think it's just a good thing to remember to really keep in touch with your students remind them there's a person so I'll just play a little bit hey guys I just wanted to check in with you and make sure you guys are all doing okay I know that uh, a lot of this has been unprecedented and kind of strange to get through and I realized that even though I've been working hard on making sure things are online and you know putting videos online and things, I've only really been recording my hands. 
And that misses the point of a lot of face-to-face -face contact that I know you guys signed up for when you took the class. And, you know, I think it's important to maintain. So I just wanted to say hi and let you guys know I'm still here and I'm thinking about you guys and I'm rooting for each and every one of you. So, so you get the idea. <laughs> um, so this one, I also, I actually, all these videos I've uploaded to YouTube and then I go in and I do the automatic captioning through YouTube, but then I go in and edit the captions because it makes sure the punctuation's in the right place. And uh, something I do say in this video is I say, oh, I've only been using my hands. Well, if you don't know me, um, I teach fashion, so my videos are all hands-on demonstrations. So that probably explains what I meant by that. It's a bunch of my hands holding fabric and patterns and measuring things and stuff like that. And I realized all my videos were there, but they never saw my face. So that's also why I decided to create this one. So that is pretty much it. Um, yeah.